Good afternoon. We're starting the vlog during the workday because I want to show you this rain that's going on outside. This is the rain that does not exist in Florida. It is cool out. It is drizzly. It's not an afternoon typhoon like you see in Florida. This is the kind of rain that does not occur in Florida. This is like Seattle to me and this is the weather and environment that I thrive on. I also am having another rough day at work, but it is what it is. It's actually, it's rough, but it's, it's manageable. But it is one of those days where I have my hair done, collar on, but pajama pants on, so. <laughs> also, you felt like the day was over already and it's still the morning. <laughs> I text Sarah from the other room when I was in a meeting and I was like, wait, what, 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 I like sent her myself and I was like, oh wait, it's really early, sorry, like, I'm mentally at 7 p.m. Like, I mentally am at, but I feel like I've been working since, till 7 p.m., but it's only noon right now. I still have confidence in the day. You talking to your reflection? You love it? It is a blustery day, but the rain stopped, so I decided to take advantage of it and stroll over to Christina and Grant's apartment just for a little visit to hang out with them and the kids. We have just some like grocery shopping, as and ends of cleaning, things that we want to do tonight, maybe even hang some more stuff. <laughs> he has lots to say today. He says, he wanted to go hang out with his pals at least for a little bit before he got to be too productive. So that is where I am headed. Peter's finishing up his work day. Just feels, feels really good out. We, like Peter said, we thrive in this weather. It's mostly him, but I feel like I thrive through transitive property. <laughs> this gloomy day it's five o'clock so gloomy fin trying to finish my work day it was oof, but it was one of those days that flew by not to text my text my friends the petrishes and suggest a fundraising idea to them about letting a bunch of harry potter fans design a harry potter tattoo that i will get if they can hit a certain fundraising goal um we'll see i'm gonna text them and see if they are if they what they think of it um Sarah should be leaving Christina and Grant soon to come back. Um, I think we're doing like a catch-up day. We might go grocery shopping, might hang some stuff. Gotta see where the night goes. We might finally watch the Spiracy. I have to go on a 45 minute run later. And we're gonna go live to talk more about, to try to push this American Cancer Society like promo to sign up for our virtual 5K. So, productive day, I guess. This baby's super cute. This chicky bird is trying to find us to order food. Even though we shouldn't order out, we're gonna order out because we have absolutely no food, but it's raining, but we're being productive, but we need to go grocery shopping and we might order groceries, but she's lost her mind. Sometimes you have to, sometimes time and effort is worth ordering food. Yeah, it's, I know what you are trying to say, but you, you, there's a better way of saying it. I'm trying to think of what it is. It's, val it's like time value. Right, time and I think effort and I think our hearts need yes. it. Yes, so Sarah's gonna find something to order. I'm gonna hang these music things right up here. And if I'm quick enough, cause that'll be a little bit of math. You hang the ones in James's room. Mm. 
Real funny. That's for a different. I need a weekend day for that because that's gonna take like two hours, and I'll need to go do something fun afterwards. Okay, sorry, I interrupted but you. If I do the sheet music quick enough, I can do the shelves in our bedroom. Even though we don't have the music or the the, the photos for the frames, we can at least put the frames up there so they're not in our and way. It'll be a reminder. To and every single day, empty frame. frames will remind us to just order the photos. And you can hang up my bouquet and my hats. Well, if you order the food, I'll get to go on on the hanging. Get to get. Ooh, so this is called I Dream of Falafel. Whoa. That's good. Yeah. We got hey. some pita. So glad the top to that didn't fall off. Oh, gosh. The hummus. We got a bunch of pita. So. Yeah. I love pita. I know. Nice. I think that's a wrap. Falafel wrap. And then that's a vegan dream. That's mm -hmm. garlic dip. So here is a falafel wrap. Here is the vegan dream, which it's got falafel and a bunch of other stuff. The pitas, is that supposed to go in the pita? The pita's just on the side. Well, we got five pitas, a bunch of this garlic, mm -hmm. some kind of sauce that I think goes in there. Eve wants it all, and I'm gonna rip this in half so you can see the inside. Okay, so those three are hung so far. We're having an issue with how they look level or not. The problem I think Sarah is questioning if they're not level, like they if they go higher, higher, level. higher. Yeah. I think because, and this could be explained by Museum of Illusions, I think it's optical illusion. So when Sarah goes closer, she's gonna see that this part of the wall looks significantly closer, like the wall's not flat. This part looks closer than this part, which is giving a perspective that these are higher than this. But literally, like it's, I, it's like half an inch depth difference between right here and right here. So I ripped the wrap in half, and funny enough, I think it is literally the contents right here in a wrap. But it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna whip it up with that garlic. Gonna get some Pepsi's and it's gonna be delicious. Heck yeah, yeah. James is excited because we have over 30 donations or participation signups and over $2,000 fundraised today. Yes, we are going to announce more virtual 5K information soon. I gotta design some stuff. We gotta get to get in. But I will put the shirt design in here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And oh my gosh, this is happening. Summer. Summer Inaugural. First ever. And those three are up. Ayo. I'm going to put three more and then I have to go to the grocery store. I zumba, 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 zoom. <laughs> She's going to get you. She's going to get me. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> One hour later. How do you guys think it looks? I think we got it right. The TV's definitely got to go that yeah, way. But we also have to get the other bookcase. That's... I know, but the TV will, will be good. It looks so good. It's very hard. The, the space between is very tight and very precise. Peter did such a good job. James Jamesy boy. Sarah's drowning in laundry, and I'm about to go Not grocery really, shopping. really, but our, I'm just so happy our washer's working again. Just a little push up. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. It might be a late night, because I gotta do the dishes when I get back, too. We have a daytime visitor tomorrow, so we need to spruce up our joint. That's great. One amazing benefit to the Bugaboo Donkey. City transportable, your own take home, take to the store, take home cart. And also the benefit of going to our local Jewel at 10 o'clock at night when it's open to midnight is nobody is here. Whole place to myself. I found something Christina showed us. Balsamic glaze. It is the most delicious thing I've ever tried. I'm so glad I found it. I can't wait. I'm gonna put this on ice cream. Once again, another reason why they call it the donkey. Check that out, and we just live a few blocks away. Easy walk home. Love it. <laughs> All right, so here we have the glaze I got, and I started undoing it because I think we just need. I think we just need to try it. Oh, she brought one of our little spoons that you've stolen. <laughs> 
I'm nervous about the top because I always like over pour balsamic. Oh gosh, it's a big opening. We might need like a little dropper. What? Are you just gonna like tap it? Oh gosh, watch out, Evie. There it is. Look at that black gold. so good really yeah so the reason i paused while looking at this is because i feel like was that the daily message yesterday maybe yeah maybe anywho the eighth the secret of happiness is to count your blessings while others are adding up their troubles william penn my hair looks very wavy today I have to pause. I've got Taylor's version of Fearless. I'm, I've been doing this weird habit of only shaving once a week. Have you noticed? Yeah. <laughs> it's hey. called laziness. Hey, sometimes you gotta prioritize your time. It is one in the morning. Mm -hmm. We've been so good about going to sleep, but tonight was like Sarah said earlier, like a refresher day. So mm -hmm. we did the did the groceries. I just did the laundry. Sarah cleaned. I just did the dishes in sanitized bottles. Sarah did a bunch of laundry and tidied up. Mm -hmm. Sarah's mom's coming over in the morning. We're going out tomorrow night. Yeah. I have work still. Yeah, we actually had a big talk this week. We were gonna potentially take some more time off from the vlog, but we decided that we are just, instead of having like big refresher days like tonight, we're just gonna have smaller refresher days throughout the week so we don't feel as overwhelmed, especially in a time right now where Peter's looking for a new job, still getting into the swing of things. And there's that. Um, running is going to take a huge priority in our life mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Um, because of all my training for the 50 miler, for training for American World World <laughs> Marathon Challenge. Can you tell it's one in the morning? Um, us oh, fundraising gosh. for American Cancer Society. I still have it hung up everything in our apartment, but yeah. I did hang up sheet music tonight. Yeah. Right. And like, we want to thank you guys because one, you've been incredible through this transition, and two, we raised so much money in the last 24 hours. Yeah, about 30 some people donated, which got them into entry into our virtual 5K. Mm -hmm. We're doing an illusion where my head looks much bigger than yours. Which, like Sarah said, has, has turned out to be, we raised over $3,000 since yesterday. Yeah. I think I want a new goal for this weekend. And I think I want to reach, we're at sixty four ninety five right now. Crazy. Which is insane because we were at 3,000 something yesterday. I think through the next three days, we should shoot to get that to 10,000. We should. So that's yeah. $3,500 this weekend. Yeah. Um, we are going to release more about our virtual 5K. That is a big task that I'm going to take on. So again, reason why we're kind of like, we're going to slow our pace down a little bit because this is gonna be a big event to put on. I'm going to design some graphics for one marketing, but then all of the, the pieces. We really want this to be a community event. So we want you to be able to use these graphics on your social media. Um, and there's just a lot of in-between stuff that goes along with it. So we will announce soon what app we're going to use, like what event tracking thing we're going to use. Today was just, a, like a flash push for fundraising and it's so incredible that if if nobody else signs up like 30 is a lot of people lot. to be in our and there's in some our people event. who are local to chicago and local mm -hmm. to orlando and that's awesome and just all around the world and country yeah. it's crazy we've already had multiple different countries and stuff wow. so more to come on that the Burkharts are, like, we're slowing down in some ways, but speeding, but up, in speeding up in others. But it's um, not as spread out. Yeah. I think we're just, like, we're getting in our groove here. Yeah. You guys, we have had to explain this to a couple of people. Like, we do miss Florida. Like, we knew going into this move, we were going from a place that we love to a place that we love. And so, you know, please don't take us, like, us being in this transitional state as that we're unhappy, but that we're just like, we're really trying to figure out 
our new life. It's such a and big change. that means change. at times we are going to be unhappy. And right. And at times we're going to be perfect and awesome and Right, happy. and, you know, that's energetic life. and the Brooke Hart Project that you know. So that is, that's just where we are. And I, like, I feel, I feel good. Like, we're, we're really on the cusp of something great. Before we sign off, look at this sweet baby. Oh, my god. He just moved his hand down. He sleeps, like. Mm-hmm such a cool kid but yeah it is like it's just like the definition of it's good to be home it's good to be home the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.